Hi everyone, Roger here from What's on Disney Plus with a quick news update. And according to a new report from research group Ampere Analysts, there is already a strong customer interest from those that were interviewed. The survey asked more than a thousand people and they saw that 22% of the people that they were interviewed were likely or highly likely to subscribe to Disney Plus. Which is interesting considering Disney haven't launched any marketing for this new platform except for a few press releases and that big investors day back in April. These results also showed where some of the key demographics are for Disney to target, as 36% of households with children are apparently intending to subscribe to Disney+, Plus, which isn't a huge shock since it's going to be a family-friendly network. And it's also the young adults who are intending to subscribe, with 34% of people aged between 18 and 24 being likely to subscribe. Adults living with friends are the most likely demographic to subscribe, with 37% of households likely to subscribe to Disney+. Plus. The Hollywood Reporter was told that this is highly significant given that Disney has not even begun their direct-to-consumer marketing campaign for the platform. That they have even reached this level of awareness and demand already is quite encouraging. These numbers are pretty impressive for a streaming service which isn't even out yet, and according to a report, a further 20% of those respondents are on the fence with respect to subscribing to Disney+. So if Disney hit the marketing correctly, this could help push Disney to the predicted 60 to 90 million subscribers that they want to have within the first five years. One of the key aspects as to the success of Disney Plus looks to be the pricing. Because of the $6.99 price, they haven't priced anybody out. The huge back catalogue of Disney's library is another big selling point for potential subscribers, as the average respondent cited this reason as the most valuable content on the new platform. While there has been much debate over Disney Plus killing Netflix, This report also indicates that the majority of respondents see Disney Plus as a complementary, not replacement, source of content, which is what Disney are hoping for since they know most people will be subscribing to multiple streaming services, which is why all three of their streaming services are priced much lower to enable people to mix and match. Will you be subscribing to Disney Plus? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, follow and subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon. Laters.